Besides being the center of creation and the center of reconciliation, Christ is the center of the people of God. Today he is here in our midst. He is here right now in his word and he will be here on the altar, alive and present amid us, his people. Christ, the descendant of King David, is really the brother around whom God's people come together. It is he who cares for his people, for all of us, even at the price of his life. In him we are all one, one people, united with him and sharing a single journey, a single destiny. Only in him, in him as a centre, do we receive our identity as people. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Lord Jesus, my most intimate friend who knows me better than I know myself, may you always be at the centre of my heart. When you walked the earth during your three-year public ministry, many people you met did not know what to make of you. Just as you are today, and have always been, you are a healer, a reconciler of division, the Word, the Prince of Peace, the Son of Man, and as voiced so clearly by the Church First Holy Father, the Messiah, the Son of the Living God, be always at my side, dear friend, and more than that my I centre my life upon you. Amen. Today you'll need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. Take 10 minutes to write a letter to your closest friend, Jesus. Perhaps you could begin by stating how you're feeling on this day. If you're feeling anxious or down, invite him to rest at the centre of your heart and bring you peace. If you're feeling terrific and at peace, perhaps you might express your gratitude. List other qualities you appreciate about this friendship. Tell Jesus why you make such an effort to put him at the centre of your life. Explain why at times you lose focus and focus on lesser things. As your friend, he will understand the frailty by which we often operate. He knows we stumble and fall. He wants to be as close as possible to us so that we do f so when we do fall, he is there to help us to our feet.